Hey everyone, Daniel Rubino here, Windows Central. Check it out, we're at Hawaii for Qualcomm special events here. And this is a Snapdragon 8CX. It's built specifically for Windows 10, comes out in 2019. And today I'll tell you why it's such a big deal. Stay tuned. The Snapdragon 8CX is Qualcomm's most extreme processor it has ever created, and it's only for PCs. Unlike the Snapdragon 835, which was just a phone chip, and the Snapdragon 850, a modified Snapdragon 845, this new chip has been in the works for years and is tailored for Microsoft. So what is so special about it? Well, this is the first 7 nanometer chip for a PC, which is a big deal considering Intel is struggling to get to just 10 nanometers. Then there's the new Adreno 680 and Cairo 495 for GPU and CPU. That GPU is essential because if it's one area that ARM struggles in, well, it's going to be graphics. Qualcomm notes that the 8CX gets 3.5 times their graphics performance over the Snapdragon 835. And when you combine that with added support for PCIe and multiple ports for the first time, you get the ability to power two 4K HDR external displays, something that only PC users expect. That GPU can also deliver 4K HDR video playback at 120 frames per second. Additional new features include Quick Charge 4 Plus, Bluetooth 5.0, and for the first time, NVMe support for SSD. There's also now an ARM64 build for the Firefox and Chromium web browsers, which are coming soon, and now the 8CX supports Windows 10 Enterprise, which makes this one of the most critical chips for businesses. For 4G LTE, there's the X24 modem for up to 2 gigabytes per second download speeds. There does not appear to be native 5G support, but Qualcomm did tease a 5G-enabled RBC on stage, saying that this is coming later in 2019. So how is the performance? Qualcomm is comparing the 8CX to an Intel Core i5 U-series processor. That's the common 15-watt ones found in most Ultrabooks. And using some reference design builds here at Maui, the 8CX ran Adobe Photoshop in full Win32 emulation without missing a beat. That was while the browser was open with multiple tabs, PowerPoint, and more all running in the background. Indeed, Firefox is optimized so that each tab can use a single processor core, giving maximum performance when needed. In a quick test, we ran between 13 and 18 tabs in Firefox before things got bogged down. Of course, this is still early test hardware, so things may improve later on. It's important to note that although this is the third processor from Qualcomm, the 8CX won't replace the Snapdragon 850. We're told to expect more PCs with the 850 chip in the coming months, which is probably a good thing as the 8CX is not likely to hit shelves until at least July 2019. Plus, the 8CX is what Qualcomm calls its premium tier of ARM processors, meaning the cost may actually go up. But for multi-day battery life, no fans, it's an on, and that LTE, well, for some, it'll totally be worth it. What should be clear is that Qualcomm is here to stay with Windows 10, and the 8CX is their most potent chip yet. How Intel responds should be, well, interesting. But for now, Qualcomm is enjoying all the attention. Will this finally be the ARM chip that breaks through for PC users? It sure looks like it, but I want to get my hands on one first. Who knows, maybe we'll finally get that dual screen PC too. All right, so there's a quick look at the Snapdragon 8CX. Now it comes out later in 2019, but we'll be doing a lot more coverage on this. If you have any questions about it, leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer them. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.